All right, I'm Nick. I'm actually in the shed. I was in the garage. I'm going to show you guys how I quickly rig or simply rig the 2022 Hobie Compass to go offshore tomorrow morning. I'm going to go down to Navarre Beach, go offshore, see if you can catch a fish. But I needed the most important thing, and that's my torpedo, torpedo bait tube. Came out to the garage, and I finally found it. But it's way back there. Way back there somewhere. Now I gotta climb up there and get it. Then we'll be in the garage talking about the compass. Okay, we're back in the garage. It is hot on top of that shed. I did find the bait tubes and I found the second most important thing, this piece of Tupperware. I've been using this one for probably three years, okay? This thing right here is single-handedly the reason I can catch bait so quickly. We did a video on it. You should look it up. I'll put a, I'll put a link up here, okay? Bait tube, that thing's super important. I don't think they actually make that anymore. But if you have one or you can find one, it's amazing. So, like I said in the shed, I'm gonna give you a quick walk through of this Hobie Compass. Now, nothing special about it. We just got it, had it in the water one time. We did put some seat risers on it to test out. I wouldn't say it's the most stable thing in the world, so we'll see how that does, okay? Um, remember, my goal in life a lot of times, especially now, just a random dude going fishing, is to be as minimal as possible, just a simple form, right? So we'll use these little Hobie beach wheels to see how they do dragging this thing across the, car, or across the sand. That thing comes on it, obviously stock pedals. Got the GoPro mount, in just in case anything cool happens. Put the D hooker on there and the boomerang snip. Remember, everybody should have those. They're, they're essential, okay? Um, waist life jacket. The fish finder is mounted to the seat and the wires go down through here. Remember the goal of this was to be able to quickly remove your seat if you car top it. And we did a video on that as well. Uh, put the crate back here. I need to put those in place in a second. I put the crate back here, which was on the links. Now, if you know me, you watch a lot of videos, I am not a fan of a crate. I always joke about that's the place where things go to die. And when I was putting the crate on this kayak from the Lynx, I started looking and there's like an old Nutrigain bar in here. No idea how long it's been in there. Uh, there's some applesauce. There's rod holders. There's Lynx accessories. Uh, we'll need the fish strips, but that's legitimately where things go to die, okay? So, quick overview. I'm not a real big fan of trolling from back here. So I'm gonna take this rod holder with me and I'll probably either put it right here or right there. I may do a little trolling with the rod back here just to see if I like it. I'm not a real big fan. Sometimes you, you know, a fish will hit the rod from behind and it won't actually bend, it'll actually recoil and you can't see that simply because you're facing forward, right? So it's nice to have that rod in front of you or at least parallel to you so you can quickly realize what's going on. But that's just a quick short video of how we're gonna rig it for the first time offshore tomorrow. That way, if you have any questions, you guys got to see it. Um, remember, the fish finder video is up. Pretty much every video is up on it. Uh, we will test out those risers to see if they're too high or too low and we'll see what happens with that. I know there's a lot of people who ask questions. So, got any questions, leave a comment below. We're gonna get the fishing poles rigged up. We'll get out there first thing in the morning, see if we can catch fish.